now we're going to look at one stock that is giving up gains and then some. It's off 11%. That's Hibbit Sports. Uh, following a third quarter earnings miss on both the top and bottom lines, the sporting goods company also reported a 56.4% increase in its inventory compared to the prior year. I think that might take the prize, the dubious prize, of being mm-hmm. the biggest Hickey increase Award? in inventory. Yeah, of those that of the companies that we've talked about, right? I think that's the biggest increase that we have seen. Just lose track after a while, Julie. All these double-digit increases after yeah. a while all look the same, but not a really good quarter for for Hibbit. Uh, margins under pressure in large part because of higher uh, expenses to get products to the consumer. Really, and you know, we were just talking about the difference between UPS and FedEx. Look at this quarter from Hibbit compared to what we saw from Dick's Sporting Goods last week, night and day. And I think that really. It shows the scale of Dick's Sporting Goods uh, and their ability to not only spread higher costs over more stores, but just to get better product than a regional player like Hibbon. They did talk about a strong back-to-school season. That is something that we heard about from Dick's as well here. But then, additionally, you think about what's taking place perhaps in the current quarter. We're also coming off of a heavy spending weekend for both Black Friday and then some of the Cyber Monday results coming in. And it was interesting on some of the Adobe data that had come in. Sporting goods sales actually surged uh, 239% this past weekend compared with Average daily sales in October. Uh, I wish we would get a year-over-year number on that because, I mean, just uh, October what seventh? I just sent him a text. That? I just sent him a text. Yeah, please do. Yeah, right. Just yeah, get yeah, some that is a weird, that. a weird comparison metric. Yeah. So perhaps Hibbit Sports, um, which I was looking at some of the drops that are coming out on Hibbit Sports online. They got the 7-Eleven Crocs. Perhaps that'll. Uh, Did you get a pair? I, I didn't buy a pair. Yeah, no. They're coming out today though. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. What do you like? What do you think when you see somebody walking down the street in a pair of 7-Eleven Crocs? They I think it's just piece. billboards, Julie. I think it's billboards for the brand. They shouldn't be worn. I, I, I think they can be worn, but I think 7-Eleven should be paying those people. I don't think people should be paying for the shoes. <laughs> You're just, wearing ads on just, your sh- on welcome. your feet. Yes. Um, <laughs> and they did say, by the way, in the quarter that footwear did well. Yes. It was apparel where they had some issues, so they'll be selling lots of those 7-Eleven Crocs. We'll see I if imagine. the drops pay off there.